know, if you have emotionally immature parents and they don't apologize and they're just, they're forever self-absorbed and forever clueless, you are going to have to make a choice at some point. You're going to have to decide whether or not it's safe for you or comfortable for you or healthy for you to even stay in relationship with them. And if you're going to try and have a relationship with them ongoing, you're going to have to take a lot of control over it and have very, very firm boundaries and, and treat them like they are children. Really, you have to treat them like children. So I do talk about this in another video where you're going to have to have very firm boundaries. So um, where... I, I think in, the, in that video, I give the example of your mother invites you over for Christmas and you want to say, okay, mom, I'd love to see you. I'd love to be there. Um, but just so you know, if you start yelling at me while we're there, if you demean me or if you criticize me or if you drink too much while I'm there, I'm going to take that as a sign you're not ready or, you know, that it's not a good time for you. And so I won't stay in that case. And, um, and so, you know, you're saying things like, you're not saying you should or you can't anything about them. You're saying, this is where I am. This is my, this is what, this is what I can do. This is what I require. And making it very, very clear and, and, and um, concrete and um, drawing a line in the sand that then you have to follow through on. You absolutely have to follow through on it. And this is really important about this narcissism epidemic thing. If we want to put it into that, what's really important is that you do things like this and because your kids are watching and then they will see that you stood up for yourself you stood up for them and you ended it here so um, the the the, the um, prognosis is not good for narcissistic families um, it tends to look like uh, they self-destruct eventually or someone's miserable um, that it doesn't seem to have a very good a very good outcome for everyone to be benefiting and happy forever but if you really are committed to wanting to try and see if you can be one of the few that is and you know more power to you I understand I understand that that's a big decision because it you know think about how you want your kids to go on being treated and you need to set an example but if you're a kid and this is and this is your situation um, really bravo to you for recognizing it and um, Make sure that you're getting your needs met somewhere else. Make sure that you have another a friend's parents or a counselor at school or a teacher or a neighbor or a grandparent or somebody that you've told this to so you're not alone with it. And, um, and make sure that you're getting your needs for parenting and for adult you know, guidance and love somewhere else. And that, um, and that you're also making steps to sort of get away from the parent and take care of yourself because you don't want to be relying on someone um, who's abusing you whether they mean to or not to uh, you don't want to be relying on them for money and rides and and things like that you know you, you need to be making steps to get independent from them and you know chances are if, if you want to have any chance of salvaging your own self-esteem and also any chance of having a relationship ongoing with them it's going to depend on you not depend not on you not being dependent on them um, it's going to depend on you getting okay with yourself independent of them and then deciding if you can if, if you can have um, firm boundaries and a healthy relationship with them that's um, you know where, where you can have res you know your boundaries respected but you're gonna have to get some distance for that so uh, so yeah make sure you're talking to someone that someone knows your situation that you're not alone with it and um, and and someone that can help you make take some steps to get to get out into the you know the adult world um, and take care of yourself because a lot of uh, emotionally immature parents will sabotage their children's attempts to break away from them and so you want to be careful that that's not happening to you all right thanks a lot for um, for listening and give me a thumbs up and um, if you have any questions about this or anything else please let me know okay thanks a lot bye bye